What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you what devices are, or accessories are compatible with the Samsung S9 phone. If you have uh, Beats headphones that are the wired version, can you use your headphones that are wired to the S9? And the answer is yes, of course. So you could charge your phone at the same time and you could use your headphone jack. The Samsung S2 and S3 watches, of course, the Samsung watches are gonna be compatible with the Samsung phone. You got an Android Wear watch, and I got this uh, last year for my birthday. Is that gonna be compatible with the Samsung S9 or S8 phones? Yes. Uh, so what you will have to do is, uh, is download the Messenger app, Google Messages app and set, as, um, set that as your default messaging app. If you don't do that, your messages won't be forwarded to your smartwatch. And this is the Huawei uh, smartwatch, Android Wear smartwatch. This is a really good one. This has a built-in speaker. I highly re recommend this watch. So that definitely works. And oh, and also, if you want your calendar events and the alarm clock, you have to download the Google clock app and then also the Google Calendar app should be already installed on your phone because Samsung, all Samsung phones use uh, Android. Um, what about the Gear 360 camera? Yes, it's Samsung. So only thing you have to do for that is download the Gear 360 app, which is right here. Open that up and then connect um, using your Wi-Fi settings. So make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and then it just automatically connects. You just select connect, make sure this is turned on. You press and hold the button to turn it on the device. And that red light right here that you see indicates what um, lens is active. So right now I just have forward facing lens active. I could turn on both sides. So if you're looking for a camera that uh, shoots on a wide screen, like well, actually wide angle lens camera that shoots in 4K, this is a great camera. And also, of course, it's a 360 camera, so it's even better. And it works amazing using the Oculus Samsung VR headset. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Is it going to be compatible with the Samsung uh, headset? Pick this up. Now, there's a couple of generations, of course. So this is a uh, model is SM-R323. Now, this is not the oldest generation VR headset. And it's not the newest that came with the motion controller. Now the motion controller is compatible with the phone, but let's find out if the, the headset even fits. So now, as you notice, well, when I got my S7 phone, I bought this VR headset. And as you can see, it has a diff different uh, power adapter right here. So this is the micro USB adapter. So to remove that, you just unlock it and slide it up and out and it comes with the type C. So the S9 is a type C adapter it uses. And then you just flip that up, slide that in, lock it. But now the S7 phone is a 5.1 inch screen. The S9 is a 5.8 inch screen, much bigger. And this is not even the plus. <laughs> the plus is even bigger than that. So I wanna move it from um, slot B to slot A. So push the button in. I'm gonna push that button in and slide it out. And open that up right there. Make sure you clean the lens on both sides, right here and there. And make sure you clean your phone. And make sure you have the app. Uh, where Where is it? the Samsung VR app you need and the Oculus app you need. As soon as you put it in the VR headset, it's gonna prompt you to download the Oculus and the VR, a Samsung VR app. All right, so now that you have those apps downloaded, you wanna make sure your phone is unlocked and the screen is clean. And then let's see if it fits. Do not force it in. If you have an older generation um, VR headset, it may not fit. And if you force it in, you might break the phone. So look, I didn't force it in, it toggles, no problem. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure you have it facing up. So if you have it facing up, the phone is less likely to fall on the ground. If you have, if you put it in this way, the phone, the, the phone may fall out of the headset. So right here, I'm gonna push it down and then it gets kind of stuck right here. 
So what you want to do is push down on this tab right here that you see, that plastic black tab, that, you want to push that down first, and then it locks the phone in. Locks it in really well. So it's in there awesome. Look at that. So plug it in and push the depth out a little bit. It looks better. And it looks great. It's amazing. Just like the S7, same resolution. The S7 uh, screen is 1440p resolution. Uh, the S9 screen is no different. It's 1440p resolution. So the quality is pretty much the same and you get the same experience. Yeah, I love it. If I wanna watch TV or Netflix or Hulu and not disturb my wife in bed, uh, because sometimes the TV brightness and the volume on the TV will keep her up at night, this is great to have at night. Oh, and the S9 is compatible uh, with the Google Daydream VR headset. So you can get those at Walmart or Amazon. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you're interested in getting the VR headset or a VR uh, Daydream VR headset. Both of them are great headsets. The difference is um, one uh, uses Facebook apps. You can um, search Facebook because Facebook owns Oculus. So uh, if you're more of a Facebook kind of person, get the Oculus headset. If you're more of a YouTuber, or like, like watching YouTube videos, totally get the Daydream headset because it optimizes the um, YouTube VR videos, amazing. The last accessory. Is it gonna work with your old charging cable? <laughs> well, if your old charging cable is micro USB, then of course not because it's type C connection. But these are type C adapters that go on your micro USB cable. This is awesome. So now I can still use all my cables all over the house and then just plug this in and then plug my phone in. Look, it doesn't even fall out. It's really tight. I'm gonna show you how the connection is right here. You could plug it in. You could plug it in this way, it works. You could plug it in this way, reverse, it works. It's amazing. And just to show you, look, it doesn't, it's on there, good. It doesn't come right out. Sometimes when we buy these crappy adapters, they just slide on and then fall out. So this one's on really secure. If you guys wanna learn more about the S9, check out I Love Trading. I subscribe to his channel and I think you should too. Let him know I sent you over there, thanks. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that has the Samsung S9 phone, and may be interested in this video, click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you guys want more how-to videos like this coming your way, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you wanna check out my other tutorials and how-to videos, click on this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.